All right, here we go again. Two. Today we'll be making some. Uh, I guess it's meat stew or beef stew. All right, cool. Yeah, so I'm doing it, and it's my way of doing it. So you guys might see like other videos on YouTube about how other people do their stuff. Again, I'm using the crock pot, so they may be doing it different to where I from how I do it. Um, so what do we have here? We have a lot of ingredients. Um, let me just put this in the sink. Excuse our sink. We normally clean up. So for ingredients. We have what is called recaito. It's just culantro cooking base and culantro cilantro um, for rice, beans, soups, chili, and stews. stews. I still have my real, my, well, I call it real. It's all real, but I have my actual cilantro and culantro just to make sure that it just adds more of the flavor. Like it's still picks up because all this stuff is like processed and stuff. It's not like homemade. So, yeah. Anyways, I have olives, Spanish salad olives, sazon, um, apple cider, oregano, bay leaves, um, adobo, um, this beef flavor um, powder, and olive oil. The red peppers you see over here, they're pickled. They're also, um, used for the cooking and it gives good flavor to the food and then some tomato sauce um, I'm using different ingredients as you see or a little bit more ingredients should I say from the last video for the chicken um, but again it's just some stuff I'm just trying out <laughs> trying to get my Spanish side in <laughs> so and then we got some beef um, boneless beef stew meat and um, I need to wash these. So I'm gonna take those out, wash it first, and then we'll connect again. Mm -hmm. Let's put in the crumb pot. Okay. All right, so um, the first thing I'm gonna add to the meat is going to be the olive oil and um, I'm only adding a little bit I was just checking out my uh, cholesterol today and my good cholesterol is low and they said the only way to well not the only way but a few ways um, to getting it um, included, bless you included uh, putting or uh, using olive oil so I'm just using a little bit of olive oil I've also seen some people use olive oil in their beef stew um, on YouTube so Hey, if it helps, let's do it. Alright, and then I'm just seasoning as I'm going. And the next thing I'm just putting, there's no specific order, but the next thing I'm putting is adobo. If you guys don't know what this is, y'all need to check it out. Buy some and use, use it. The beef flavoring powder to give it a little bit more pop of beef. Looks like a lot, but I promise it's not. not even a lot. As I'm going, I'm just gonna pass these to my hubby so I can put them away so I don't put in the same ingredient. You know, twice. Then the next thing is sazon. All these uh, seasonings um, says they have like onions and stuff like that in it. Um, there's nothing like adding the real stuff in there. Uh, so that's why I have some stuff chopped up. This is more for like coloring and like again just like a little bit of uh, a flavor. Um, did I have my vinegar. Next thing is my vinegar. I'll buy some more. Because I like the beef tender, I like to use as much vinegar as I can. So I just use that up. Um, there we go. 
I hate chewing for, for days. So, yeah, I had to use that. Um, this thing here is called Recaito. Um, if you don't know how to say it, don't worry, it's this. <laughs> it's just the base of culantra and cilantro. And again, I have that cut up because I like the real deal. So. Chocolate, onions, and stuff like that. You can also make your own. Um, you can make your own um, at home. I choose not to. Maybe next time. Maybe like when I feel like I really want to do it, then I'll do it. Um. Anyways, um, I'm gonna add the tomato sauce. I'm gonna add the tomato sauce. Um, because it's two pounds of meat, I guess I'll just use the whole like, container and go. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to stir it. I'm gonna hold off on the water for right now. No, it's fine. Um, pass me the spoon. The big spoon. I miss my the sink. You do not have the other one? Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. So I'm just stirring just to make sure that all the meat gets flavored, soaks up everything. Um, yeah, just to, just making sure that everything has an even amount of flavor and seasoning. Um, do you want to show how, what it looks like so far? The lighting is horrible in here, you guys. I'm so sorry. So the lighting is horrible, but as you can see, this is what it looks like so far. Ah. Colors, white, red, green. Um, reminds me of the Mexican flag of um, my Mexican people. Anyways, um, pepper, onions, cilantro, and cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro. Good. Okay, I'm not sure you're gonna need that. Uh, More? No, just the some juice of the from in here. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, the juice or what or oil, but it definitely adds more flavor. So, I don't know if it's anyways, um, moving on. We have also some um We also have to add some yeah, we don't eat these, we throw them out, but it's for flavor. Um, that's why, um, like, obviously I never made videos before until like recently with Milton because Milton's like, oh, let's make a video. <laughs> no, he doesn't sound like that, but he's like, do you want to make a video? And I'm like, yeah, sure, fine. But um, it's, it's like you guys are getting to watch me learn as well as I'm going on how to cook um, certain Spanish dishes. But anyways, um, we don't eat out, but we are going to start cooking with them. Because that's what Puerto Ricans do. We cook with them. I mean, a lot of Puerto Ricans eat it and like it. Um, I'm not, I'm American, I'm an American Puerto Rican, and therefore, I just don't like it. I, I don't know. I just never, I never found myself like it. Next thing are the bay leaves or um, what de laurel. And Puerto tend to cook a lot with this. Um, 
I'm just putting in a, a few little um, leaves. You don't have to put in a lot. It's just for flavor. I mean. The next thing is some oregano, and I'm not gonna go crazy with this. I'm just gonna add just a bit. Um, oh my god, I put stop on that. I don't know why it's eating. And, <laughs> press the button. <laughs> Can you open this? I feel a little like slow right now. Oops. So anyways, the, the camera got crooked. This is the oregano uh, like powder. Just gonna add a little bit, like I said. And then I'm just stirring everything up. Next thing is I'm adding some corn and I'm adding some carrots. First thing I have here is carrots. Hmm? What? More. More? Alright. Got a palm full. I like rinsing my stuff. We get the challenges like three times to wash but I'll wash it again. That's what I eat. Okay, that just squirt me in my face. Um, by the way, if anybody tends to see my belly in this uh, camera, no, I'm not pregnant. Working on losing weight, okay? When you're Hispanic, you eat a lot. If you're not, if you don't eat a lot and you're Hispanic, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so far. Um, before I put in the water and come on over. That's it, just showing, okay? Now I'm gonna add water. There's one bottle, we don't use this water. Not that we are fancy or bougie, we just don't have, we don't, um, we don't, um, we don't, um, we don't like the way that our stomach feels when we use water. I'm going to just throw the lid on, locked, and in place. And start. Put it for 35. 
All right, guys. 35 minutes, and then we will have some beef stew. Hopefully, if the meat is still like, if it's good, if it's tender enough. Um, so I'll cut you guys back in 35 minutes. All right, guys. This is 35 minutes. We're allowing the steam to release before we go ahead and open this up. Holy smokes, guys. <laughs> this looks good. Wow. Let me just show you guys. Yummy. And we're going to eat that with some white rice. This is the result, the end result, guys. I hope you enjoy our video. And if you did, I just ask that you like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the above. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.